I would have to say for my scholarship throughout my years at Great Oak, it mainly came from my participation in Great Oak's cross country team from my freshman year uh, in 09 to my sophomore year, ending it in 2010. Uh, so my favorite high school English moment would have to be not only the fact that like having Miss Cassidy as a, a senior teacher was great and hilarious and funny, she was a great teacher, but the the moments where she really like connected with the class and like told us to just keep, keep pushing through this last year of IB and uh, my favorite book would have to be reading Great Gatsby just because it's a extremely relatable book for me and I enjoyed uh, the plot. My advice to someone that's about to enter high school would have to be uh, don't procrastinate. I know everyone else is saying in their senior videos don't procrastinate but it's they're saying it for a reason because there's an emphasis on reasons why you shouldn't procrastinate. Yes you might be able to just pull an essay out right before it's due but it's not going to be your best work and you want to be able to turn in your best work because high school is going to prepare you for the rest of your life. Uh, strategies that I would recommend for obtaining academic success in high school would have to be do your homework, study, read the textbooks, and do your best to do the assignments that the teachers assign you. There'll be some that you just don't want to do but work your way through it. I was in the IB program and still currently am. And don't get that much sleep from how much stuff we have to do but in the end, I think it's all worth it, just the community you get and the academic success that the IB program brings with it. Great Oak has prepared me for academic and personal success by putting me through the IB program. I've got to meet a whole bunch of new people and new teachers that I would have never been able to meet and create new friends uh, through the IB program. It's gotten me to learn how to meet new people and get through tough work when it seems like you don't want to commit that much effort towards it. Just sitting down and starting to do it and getting focused really helps. My plans for the future, uh, for where I see myself in five years, I see myself in five years probably still in college trying to attain my major of computer engineering or computer science and one of those is my minor. If not, I guess I got through college extremely fast and I attained my major faster than I would have expected. As for 10 years, I really don't know where I see myself. There's so many different options that I could go. I could have a family, I could have a stable job. Stuff could not work out for me and I could still keep and be trying to get the stability that I'm looking for in a job to have a nice and fun experience through my life. But it doesn't really matter where I am in 10 years because I live 
now, I live in the moment, I try to make the best of what I can every day. For my teamwork, it would have to be uh, the awards I got from running in cross country and being with the team, but there's also other awards that I've received, like perfect attendance in elementary school and uh, middle school. I didn't have perfect attendance, but I still received awards. I just can't find them. Other than that, there were awards in high school I got for uh, being good, a good student in junior English class from my teacher, Miss Ricken. But all that I can say and emphasize on being involved with your team and having this teamwork is taking the best from it, like the happiness that you can achieve and have is the most important thing from it.